What would it take to survive a night when the world itself feels frozen solid? Imagine the Ice Age landscape, biting winds, endless snow, and predators as desperate as you are. For early humans, warmth wasn't just comfort, it was survival. Step outside without protection, and the chill would strip away your strength in minutes, stay exposed overnight, and your body would stiffen before dawn. In these frozen worlds, warmth was more precious than food, more urgent than the hunt. Without it, there was no tomorrow. So how did early humans endure where so many others would have perished? They learned to trap heat in layered furs, stitch clothing with bone needles finer than a toothpick, and huddle inside shelters built from mammoth bones and hides. Fire was a lifeline, coaxed from wood, bone and sparks, then guarded through the night like treasure. Even their bodies adapted, conserving heat through shorter limbs and compact builds, while their communities learned the power of sleeping close, of sharing warmth. And this is not just a theory. Archaeologists have uncovered shocking discoveries showing how these strategies truly kept Ice Age humans alive in the harshest cold. So how did our ancestors endure the kind of cold that would kill most of us within hours? Was it pure ingenuity, luck, or something deeper written into our bones? Let's step into the Ice Age, and you'll see the secrets of how our ancestors kept the cold at bay, and in the process, kept the story of humanity alive. Early humans understood insulation in ways that would impress even modern explorers. They selected furs not randomly, but deliberately, matching each animal's properties to a purpose. Reindeer fur, with its hollow hairs trapping air, formed the backbone of winter garments, keeping the cold at bay with astonishing efficiency. Wolverine fur, water repellent and frost resistant, was carefully used around hood rims and extremities, an early Arctic design choice. And the layering wasn't just for show. Each layer worked in concert to trap warmth, repel moisture and shield from wind, creating an adaptable thermal system that could withstand brutal ice age storms. Archaeological finds reveal the precision and care involved. Eyed bone needles, some dating back 40,000 years, show that early humans were sewing fitted garments, not just wrapping themselves in hides. Sites across Europe and North America have uncovered these tiny tools, some crafted from the bones of foxes, lynx and other animals, perfectly matched to the furs they would help stitch together. Even shell beads discovered sewn into clothing, such as those found in burials at Italy's Arma Verana site, demonstrate that decoration and structural reinforcement went hand in hand, which means ornamentation was practical and cultural. Every stitch, every carefully chosen hide was a calculated move in a deadly game. A gap in clothing could mean frostbite or death. A well-fitted parka could be the difference between life and a frozen grave. These garments were sophisticated, layered systems designed for extreme cold, with seams and tailoring that rival modern outdoor gear. In the heart of the Ice Age, clothing was more than warmth. It was survival armor. Through meticulous selection, cutting and sewing, Paleolithic humans transformed the raw hides of hunted animals into protective, adaptive garments. For Paleolithic humans enduring sub-zero temperatures, mastering fire was not just about warmth. Controlling fire in the Ice Age required more than sparks. It demanded skill, knowledge and planning. Archaeological evidence shows that early humans could construct hearths capable of reaching extraordinary temperatures, sometimes exceeding 600 degrees Celsius, that's around 1,112 degrees Fahrenheit. Sites in Ukraine reveal flat, wood-fired hearths designed with precision, using spruce as the primary fuel. Animal bones were even burned as supplementary fuel when wood was scarce, demonstrating an advanced understanding of combustion and resource management. Fire extended the day. It allowed tool-making, sewing and food preparation after the sun had vanished behind horizons. Around these flames, communities gathered, exchanging knowledge, sharing meals and reinforcing social bonds. Hearths were maintained continuously, sometimes for days or even weeks, proving that fire was treated as an essential, almost sacred, resource. Sites in Alaska confirm this sophistication, showing a range of hearth types strategically constructed to suit seasonal and environmental needs. But fire's role went beyond warmth and light. By roasting and smoking, early humans could preserve surplus food, sustaining themselves during long, harsh winters. Evidence from hearths associated with mammoth bone dwellings in Ukraine shows that central fires were carefully integrated into living spaces. 
Even survival itself was bound to fire. The glow drove predators away, allowed constant monitoring of vulnerable children and elderly, and created a space for rituals, storytelling, and symbolic expression. In many ways, fire became the heart of the Ice Age home, a technological, cultural, and social centerpiece that underpinned every aspect of life. When the icy winds of the last glacial maximum swept across Europe and Asia, survival demanded more than clothing and fire. It required shelter. And Paleolithic humans didn't simply huddle in caves, they engineered homes that were practical, durable, and adapted to extreme cold. Some of the most remarkable Ice Age architecture comes from the vast steppes of Ukraine. Mammoth bone huts constructed from skulls, long bones, and pelvises formed circular dwellings measuring up to 10 meters in diameter. Archaeological excavations at Mezerich uncovered four such huts containing 149 mammoth bones, meticulously arranged with frontal skulls facing inward and layered with hides for insulation. Central hearths provided warmth while the bone walls shielded inhabitants from wind and snow. These were communal homes that required careful planning, cooperation, and deep knowledge of materials. The Gonsi settlement complex further demonstrates the social and architectural sophistication of Ice Age humans. Archaeologists uncovered at least six mammoth bone structures surrounded by pits filled with stone tools, bones, and ash. These sites illustrate that early humans created organized settlements, optimizing space, heating, and resources. Radiocarbon dating places these communities in the height of the last glacial maximum, emphasizing that architectural ingenuity was critical for survival in sub-zero temperatures. Even in the harshest environments, humans showed flexibility. When mammoth bones were unavailable, wooden frames covered with hides or sod were erected, forming temporary but functional shelters. The careful placement of hearths, sleeping areas and storage pits reflect deliberate planning. Through archaeology, we can see that Ice Age humans approached shelter as a problem to be solved systematically. Every bone, hide and hearth was part of a larger strategy to survive, and even thrive in a world where temperatures regularly plunged below freezing. Surviving sub-zero temperatures was also about the human body itself. Ice Age humans and their Neanderthal cousins were physically and metabolically adapted to thrive in extreme cold, revealing a level of biological ingenuity that complemented their technological innovations. Neanderthals, for instance, exhibited stocky, compact bodies with shorter limbs, an anatomical design that minimized heat loss in frigid environments. Their broad noses and enlarged nasal passages were not accidental. They served to warm and humidify the icy air before it reached the lungs. Computer simulations indicate that Neanderthal nasal structures were about 29% larger than modern humans, optimizing airflow conditioning and providing an evolutionary advantage in freezing climates. Maintaining body temperature in such harsh conditions required extraordinary caloric intake. Estimates suggest that Ice Age humans needed between 3,360 and 4,480 calories daily, depending on activity levels, to sustain muscle mass and metabolic heat. Genetic studies reveal that some populations, particularly those whose ancestors lived in Siberia, Northern Europe, and parts of the Americas, retain adaptations affecting mitochondrial function. These adjustments allowed for less efficient energy conversion but greater heat production, a critical trade-off for cold survival. Cold exposure also activates specialized tissue in the body, brown adipose tissue or brown fat. Unlike ordinary fat, brown fat burns calories directly to generate heat. Anthropological studies suggest that repeated exposure to sub-zero conditions enhance the activity of brown fat in Ice Age humans, reducing reliance on shivering while maximizing thermal energy. This adaptation, combined with cultural innovations like layered clothing and fire use, created a synergy between biology and technology that allowed humans to colonize previously uninhabitable regions. Even growth and development reflect adaptation. Skeletal evidence shows that pre-Neanderthal populations at sites like Cima de los Huesos may have experienced seasonal metabolic stress, potentially slowing growth during harsh winters. While controversial, this suggests that humans not only coped behaviorally and technologically, but may have physiologically modulated their energy use to survive periods of scarcity. Survival in sub-zero temperatures was never a solo endeavor. 
Paleolithic humans relied on tightly knit communities where cooperation, coordination and shared knowledge were as vital as fire, clothing or shelter. Ice Age survival was a collective achievement and archaeology shows that early humans developed sophisticated social systems to endure the harshest winters. Groups typically range from 15 to 40 individuals organized into flexible family units. Each person had specialized roles, hunters, gatherers, toolmakers, firekeepers and elders responsible for preserving critical knowledge. These roles were not rigid, tasks shifted according to season, need and individual skill. Communal activities around hearths, as revealed by archaeological site layouts, were hubs for teaching, storytelling and transferring survival skills to the next generation. Knowledge of animal behaviour, fire management and clothing construction was shared and refined collectively, ensuring the survival of the group rather than just individuals. Resource management was another cornerstone of group survival. Coordinated hunting strategies allowed humans to exploit large predictable games such as hibernating cave bears, which provided crucial nutrition during harsh winters. Evidence from mammoth bone settlements indicates systematic storage of tools, food and fire-starting materials, resources that were often maintained communally. This careful organisation demonstrates that Ice Age humans understood the value of planning, distribution and cooperative labour. Children too were integrated into this social ecosystem. Rather than being left vulnerable, infants received constant care from multiple members of the group. Breastfeeding, co-sleeping and communal supervision ensured warmth, safety and skill acquisition from an early age. Some researchers even proposed that humans employed hibernation-like strategies during the most extreme winters. Analysis of ancient bones suggests seasonal metabolic slowdowns, similar to the hibernation patterns of cave bears. While debated, this theory highlights the depth of Ice Age humans' adaptive strategies both behavioural and physiological, coordinated at a community level. Archaeological evidence paints a vivid picture of communities working together, blending biology, technology and culture into a survival system far more sophisticated than the term caveman suggests. Surviving the Ice Age was one challenge, thriving within it was another entirely. Beyond fire, clothing and shelter, Paleolithic humans pushed the boundaries of innovation, combining practicality with creativity. Clothing was not just functional, it was art, complex layered garments protected against sub-zero temperatures, while ornaments and beads stitched into fur and hides demonstrated an eye for decoration. Deep red ochres and carefully processed mineral powders were symbolic, possibly denoting identity, ritual or social status within the group. Figurines such as delicate ceramic forms reveal attention to detail and intentional expression connecting humans to both the spiritual and social realms. Tools were another arena of innovation. Mass-produced bone implements, precisely shaped and tailored for specific tasks, show that early humans understood not only how to survive, but how to optimize their efficiency. These weren't haphazard creations. They were carefully planned, shared and refined across generations, providing communities with reliable ways to hunt, craft and thrive in harsh environments. All these innovations, clothing, fire mastery, shelter construction, social cooperation and symbolic expression work together to form an integrated survival system. Bones, pigments, hearths, ornaments and dwellings speak across millennia, proving that Ice Age humans were sophisticated problem solvers. Each day was a battle against freezing temperatures, scarce food and relentless predators. Yet, these early humans did more than survive. They created, innovated and built the foundations of human culture. Every fire lit, every garment stitched, every tool shaped was a statement of intelligence. In the shadow of glaciers and ice, humans carved a path not just for survival, but for the future of civilization itself. So this is how they survived the sub-zero temperatures. Every strategy was deliberate, every innovation a lifeline, and every day a reminder to human ingenuity. Could you imagine walking through a blizzard without modern gear? Could you have relied on fire, furs and your community alone to survive? In the end, Ice Age humans didn't just endure, they innovated, adapted and thrived. Their survival strategies were not random. They were carefully crafted systems of technology, biology and social organisation. And it is through these remarkable innovations that our ancestors conquered one of the coldest chapters in Earth's history. 
laying the foundation for human ingenuity that still inspires us today.